Motivation for me is absolutely key for uh, students and uh, development of courses. Uh, the, there are many courses that I've taught uh, on the math and stats side, but also on the computer science side, where the, the students, if they're not engaged, they just stop showing up. And that becomes really problematic because a lot of the material, especially in computer science, that they're learning is brand new. So if they're not showing up to class, it's not necessarily the case that there's a textbook associated with it to actually give them the information that, they're, that, they, that they need. Um, so for me, motivation is absolutely, absolutely imperative to, to build into the course. Instructors are knowledge experts. And sometimes, or, or usually, they're very passionate about their topic. And it is sometimes hard for them to accept that all, not all students who come to their class uh, are as well. So yes, it is challenging for every instructor. And, and it becomes particularly challenging in online environment because instructor is not present in the classroom, physically present in the classroom anymore. And so he or she has to use some sophisticated strategies in the course design to address uh, motivation. I think you have to take student motivation into account where, whatever you're teaching uh, in class as well. So I think the, the course that I taught called Information Management was a required course for most students who took the Bachelor of Commerce. And so what that translated to was there wasn't a high level of motivation because it wasn't an elective. So people had to be there. And in a lot of cases, they didn't know why. <laughs> And other than someone else had picked this course that I have to take if I want to graduate. And so if I, if I didn't understand that going in, I learned it really quickly <laughs> because people had misperceptions about the course. Student motivation is, is, a, is a tricky thing. I mean, what we all want are these intrinsically motivated students who are in our classroom because they want to eat up the, the subject matter. Um, unfortunately, we find ourselves often confronted with a student who just wants a really good mark not even because they want a really good mark, but because they want a really good job, not even because they want a really good job, but because they want a lot of money. Uh, and so their motivations get a little messed up and, and materialistic, and that sometimes pushes them to much more shallow um, ways of uh, addressing the course. What we are actually saying when we talk about motivation, we're saying, to what extent should you design your course so that students will persist, will stay with the course, will be engaged. That's what we're talking about, student engagement. And so it's really important to take into account what are some of the things that would engage students in this material. 